Hi, it's Saturday night, the 24th of October already, and day 298 of my journey to business alignment, and I'm still living the dream. I hope you are too. My power statement I wrote down tonight for tomorrow morning says, I'll follow up with Kasif on Monday to see where things are regarding the Ask Coach B page. Until then, I'll keep pushing myself to get as many tasks done from off my master task list as quickly as possible. So, Here's my to-do list for Saturday the 23rd right here, all highlighted, all checked off, scribbled off, done. Bam! Now, my most important task that I had today was to simply focus on getting as many tasks that are on that master list and get them done. While I'm waiting for Kashif to get the Ask Coach B page, that's the question and answer page, done. The master list is a really long list like I showed you last night, but I'm working on it and I'm whittling it down task by task by task. My fun task for today was to clean the bathroom that is part of our Airbnb room. I do that, we switch off Kathy and I, and I vacuum the upstairs for the new guest who is coming. And I always make sure that the door handles and everything is sprayed down and sanitized, but the door handles themselves for the bathroom and the bedroom and so forth are all clean and sanitized and ready to go. My exciting task for today was to go through the appointment system that I have and determine if I need to go up a notch in order to jump up to the pro appointment level so I can be ready for when I launch that site and people start setting up appointments to have personal coaching private sessions with me. That's the system that that's going to take and capture the $50 and send them on to go ahead and schedule the time. Even though Kashif said that he wouldn't get the Ask Coach B task done early until mid to the tail end of next week, I'm going to go ahead and just assume <clears throat> that it's uh, going to take that long to get that done. Like I said last night, as far as the appointment goes, Ezra said that they'd give me two days free, one week from today, so I can play with the system and make sure everything is working okay, including getting the Stripe connected with it. That's the system for accepting payments like PayPal and so forth. And then they'd charge me the fee for an entire year going forward, starting on Monday, the 1st of November, and just $96. So that's gonna be great. So I just thought I would make sure I had everything set up right in terms of the appointment settings, the logo branding. In fact, I found out I can, uh, can't can do the branding until I make that payment and then I can go in and do the branding and get it looking the way I want it to look. Now I want to go over my end of the day success routine questions. Get honest with yourself, Marty. What didn't go well today? What could you have done better today? Did you wake up early and start strong? Check. Did you start your morning with power? Check. Did you produce and have a productive throughout the day today for a Saturday? I certainly did. Did you get the most important things done? My most important task, my fun task, and my exciting task. I had get those at least those three things done every day, day after day after day. Did you move your goals forward, pieces through the portal of my mind to the world of the physical? Did you show up as the person you wanted to show up that would serve you the best way? Yes. What about your personal time with Kevin? Saturday night, she was there with us watching our football game with my brother. It was fantastic to enjoy the evening with her and have a little meal together. So we were all present for each other. So in summary, I always ask myself, were you honest with yourself about today's task, Marty? Did you keep yourself um, clear-headed and make promises that you knew you could keep? Well, with Kashif saying it's going to take him until the middle of next week, I decided to say that it's going to take until the end of next week, until Friday. And if it gets done earlier, that's great. If not, I'm okay. I'm ready for that to go as long as Friday. I will have everything ready to go by the end of that week and looking forward to that. So for this morning, I just promised myself that I would focus on getting as many tasks done that are on my master task list. And that's what I focused on. And that's what I did today. Bam, done. The next question is, what movies did you watch today during your mindfulness time, Marty? Did you make time for them? And were there any new movies or what I call the instant pre-play movies that my two amigos would call on the screen of my mind, my imagination goes, goes, goes? Well, like every morning, I watched my must-see TV favorite five movies. I then looked and took a little time to imagine Kashif finishing the Ask Coach B page. And I imagined people using it and asking questions of me uh, through the Ask Coach B title, question, answer, and looking up answers and so forth. And I've already answered many questions, so they were looking at those. I attracted this page into the portal of my mind, and now Kashif is doing the work to make it manifested into the world of the physical, and I can't tell you how excited I am. It's going to be in the real world by Friday. 
Bam! In addition to that, once again, I watched a preplay of seeing my website go live as though it was already finished. I saw people coming to the site and signing up and going through all of its pages and even going to the page where all the 12 uh, step lessons are and ordering step lessons. Bam! So excited! Like I said last night, the next month or so is going to be so exciting because it'll be the, the time of which I launch my site, my focus group campaign, my campaign to get new clients. It'll all be manifesting to the world of the physical through the portal of my mind, and my dream will have come true and into the world of the reality. Bam! <clears throat> done! The next question I ask myself, what's the one thing that would make all the difference going forward? What's the one thing can, I can do better starting tomorrow, even if the day went sideways, getting it done, you'd still feel like success getting it done. What would that one thing be? And once identified that what that one thing is, turn into a power statement. Well, once I do, it'll let me start my day strong. I can stay strong and then I'll end my day strong starting Monday though, because tomorrow is Sunday and I always make my power statement for Sunday say this, very simple. I'll spend today sharpening my saw and enjoying time with Kathleen. Whoop. The next part of my end of the day success routine is to ask myself, were there any mistakes or failures made today that I can turn into a tool of success going forward? Well, today was Saturday, like I said, and because it was, I think I relaxed a little knowing that I was going to be able to watch a football game later that night, tonight, and, my, and do it with my brother and with my wife, Kathleen. Even though it was a Saturday, I still worked pretty steadily and was careful to not make any mistakes. I also didn't fail to move my goals forward as I worked to check additional master test lists off that list. I got more of them done today and so there wasn't any failure or mistakes today. Bam! The next question is, what's your biggest success today, Marty? In other words, what did you do well? Well, my biggest success today lies in the fact that I made today be just like any other workday for the week. And it really didn't matter that it was a Saturday. It didn't feel like a play day to me. I was focused on getting things ready so that I can launch my website and make it go live, period. I'm staying focused until that task is done. The next step in my end of the day success routine, of course, is to rate my day's effort. And so as I reflected on today, I decided to give today's effort an eight. I gave today an eight because I worked at the speed of eight, period. I worked steadily and I got tasks done so I could check them off my master task list and that felt fantastic. Okay. I want to end the day strong. Here's what I'm grateful for for today. I'm grateful for the principle that says you can create a conviction by starting with a basic belief. You then reinforce it by adding new and more powerful references, or what I call evidences, telling my two amigos to go out there and bring back all the evidences to support the belief. The more references you develop and find, the more emotion the references are, the stronger your conviction. With this as a foundation, the third thing that needs to be done to create a strong conviction is to find a triggering event or create one of your own that creates emotional intensity to that conviction. If you want to change out behavior that you don't like about yourself, simply make the painful consequences of that behavior feel real to you by viewing films on the screen of your mind or better yet by finding folks who are further down the path of the negative path you're on of your bad behavior and burn your mind with what you see and realize that your future is going to be if you don't change something and finally take action each action you take strengthens your commitment and raises the level of your emotional intensity and thus the strength of your conviction Wow. These principles lead to the next thing I'm grateful for, the law of peer pressure, which says one of the challenges with convictions is that they're often based on other people's influence on your beliefs. Too, too often, people believe something because everybody else believes it. It's called peer pressure. Until you know what you truly believe in you, uh, if it, well, I'll just repeat this. Until you know what it is you truly believe, you're going to fall for anything and everything. Following peer pressure is a great way to limit your life, to make it just like everybody else's. Our history is made of giants of courage who have the courage to challenge the wisdom of the day, the wisdom of the experts. Oh, so true. Next, I'm grateful for Jody Moore, who teaches it's vital that we examine our beliefs and their consequences to make sure that they're empowering us and are leading us to, sh to show up as the person that will best serve us, that'll best serve our best selves. Now you might ask, how do you know what beliefs to adopt? Man, that's a great question, isn't it? It's an ancient question for sure. Even Pilate told Jesus, 
What is truth? The answer is to find someone who's producing the fruits on the tree, the results you truly want in your life. These people are the role models who can give you some of the answers you seek as a true seeker. Invariably, behind all successful people lies a specific set of empowering beliefs. Oh man, once again, we're ending the night with a powerful thought, aren't we? I sure think so. Anyway, it's time for bed, and so until I meet with you again tomorrow night, right back here at my laptop, I wish you all continued success. Good night.